What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Chris back again with another video for you guys today. In this video, I want to talk about the market and in regards to what may be happening today uh, with a potential new promo or something that could be dropping today on the market. If you guys do enjoy this type of content, make sure you do drop a like on the video. I'd very much appreciate it. Now, let me show you guys for watchers tweet. Now this, a lot of this is pointing towards team of the season and for me, like this thing right here, these are upgrade packs, right? These are the type of upgrades that we would get when there's a big promo, like a team of the year or like a team of the season from last year. I, I believe that these player packs are better than what they were last year. Cause I remember last year, just little bits and pieces of, it was like an 81 plus double SBC, kind of what we got during fall birthday. And the pack we wasn't great on those this year either. And I remember last year they boosted a little bit um, I was pulling team of the seasons out of them. So, you know, that was this SBC that we got last year. And I remember the rare golds were like 800 to 900 first day. And then they went up all the way to like 1.5k at a point because so many people kept on going and rinsing, repeating every single time for those upgrades. So it would be interesting to see like what kind of requirements that these type of SBCs will have, considering that this would be 10 gold players with four of them rare which is better than the team of the year upgrades that we would have gotten because if you remember the team of the year ones it was a pretty much a 25k pack with three rare players so if we're getting four from this i can only imagine what the requirements could be if they do require the same thing as team of the year that is incredible like that has already made their content at seven out of ten minimum because of this sbc's that they did for la liga bundesliga they did this for all the top five leagues uh, you see, obviously, you got Premier League right here. Um, you got Serie A right here. And obviously, you could probably have League on somewhere in here as well. So, this is pointing towards Team of the Season being anywhere in the next probably week and a half. Um, what I thought, I thought we had a little bit more time. I thought, you know, early to mid-May, that's when Team of the Season was going to come out. Because I always had this feeling that in the past, Team of the Season had not been determined based on the league finishing so even though in real life right now the leagues are not going on it doesn't influence team the season because we still have a big enough sample size for ea to pick a team um and choose who's getting into team the season so that's why i thought you know they were going to probably do it of early to mid-may but this what this is showing is this is probably going to come out tomorrow or no this is not going to come out tomorrow this may be next week and tomorrow, what they might start is Team of the Season voting. Now, if I remember correctly last year, I believe Team of the Season, the first loading screen we got was on the Friday before the promo actually started. Now, if they do the same thing and maybe they put something in um, packs tomorrow as well, that's something you guys could see. Um, I've seen this and I, and I was streaming at the time when all of this was kind of going on on Twitter. If they decide to put Team of the Season nominees in, like they've done Team of the Year, um, it really just depends. It, it's really difficult for the market because you're having all of these players come onto the market, all these new special cards that people want to try out, depending on the new card design and everything like that. Now, something that usually supposedly happens the night before is we usually get a card design if there was going to be a new team popping up. Now, I have not seen a new team uh, for Fall Watch. They would have tweeted it out. So that maybe leads me to believe that there's not going to be players put into packs tomorrow. Maybe there is something like SBCs and stuff like that to kind of ease us into Team Season in, in, for preparation. Um, I'm going to make a lot of videos during Team Season, guys. Whether that be pack openings, a lot of market watches. We're going to be uploading a shit ton during Team of the Season. Uh, we're going to be preparing you guys for the market. So... You know, going back to this real quick, um, I don't see Team of the Season being tomorrow for a few reasons. They can't just spring a promo like that on us because if they came out and said that Team of the Season was coming out today, the market would get going to a frenzy and, and lightning rounds would probably get hampered because the servers would probably go down. The amount of people hopping on the game, uh, the servers will probably go down and that would influence fuel point sales. Another thing you guys want to take into account that they usually hype it up a little bit because they don't want people panic selling like for five or six straight days. It's kind of the point that I was talking to you guys about a few days ago where I thought that they were going to do an, like a loan screen on Tuesday, then Wednesday, then Thursday, but they didn't do anything this week. 
So it'll be interesting to see what they do tomorrow and like spring in something on this. That's why I don't think anything huge will be coming tomorrow other than like a team this season loading screen. Now, if you guys want to make some coins tomorrow, uh, and we'll go back to the team season point as well very soon, but if you guys want to go and make some coins tomorrow, um, if these cards, like pre 6 p.m., you want to take a little bit of a risk, guys, um, these cards pre 6 p.m. should get panic sold a good amount. Any past special or icon could get uh, sold off tomorrow morning pre 6 p.m. Um, I would definitely take a look at it. Um, now, obviously, we don't even know which players are going to get, you know, into the team of the season nominees. Obviously, I think that team season most consistent will be next Friday. Um, and I believe the EFL comes out the same week. Now, last year, yes. Yeah, so, the team season most consistent EFL came out on the same day. So, last year, this was our team. Ibrahimovic, who was obviously the standout player. I think he was getting bought for about $1.5 million on day one. We have Busquets, Allen, who was around like a couple hundred K at the time. Felipe, Aldevild, which I believe he was around 200 250 Ter Stegen, uh, which we didn't really like Ter Stegen last year because of all the goalkeepers, but you know this year you know we'd like that. But uh, Alex Telles, and Dombele, Stone, Suzoko. Uh, now I had someone bring up this point in my stream today that maybe they didn't do Langlet in Team of the Week because maybe he gets the most consistent. But I just don't see them doing it tomorrow or today when you're watching this video. I think it's going to be next Friday, um, and it's because this game is dead and it's never been predetermined by the league finishing um so team scene is always going on before the league even finishes so even if it you know the season ends in july it still doesn't really matter I, they're still going to carry on with their game because the longer they wait the more people are going to be hopping off this game so if they drop that loading screen tomorrow it gets people automatically engaged uh, for the next week of fifa and then in the week's part you know going up into um you know pretty much footies like that's the next promo obviously after team of the season so you know, this is what I can expect next Friday. It's most, most consistent and EFL. And tomorrow, as long as they do not put anything in packs. Uh, and those... See, that this is why it's so, it's so confusing, guys. Because this would mean... Like, if they drop this, usually it means that it's coming up the next day. I don't know what they would put into packs that would make these, like, actually worth it. You know what I mean? Like, if it's Team, team of Season nominees, no one will be doing these. Uh, I would hope not, because it would just waste your coins going into Team of the Season. So, I don't really know what they're going to do, but that's kind of like some... You know, people were talking about Carnival. I don't think it's going to be Carnival. I don't think it's going to be Team of the Knockout stage either. Uh, what I will tell you guys to prepare for Team of the Season, and I'll, we'll go back to this as well um, in a few days' time, because we're going to do a bunch of Team of the Season preparation videos, uh, like a series of them, four to five days just of preparing for team of the season a different method or a different thing every single day to make some coins and and stuff like that find yourselves you know gold rares that are you know a little bit cheaper and in different positions so you know with good nationalities like this guy potence right if you get this guy potence for under 800 i can guarantee you by the second or third week of team of the season he's probably going to be upwards of like 1.3 to 1.4k because everyone's going to want to use this card as a left mid or a left wing, depending on the formation that they use in the upgrade SBC. Upgrades are gonna be coming out probably, I would assume next Friday. I'm not gonna do any, and I wonder how long the time limit is gonna be for those SBCs, if they decide to keep them for two months, you know, you know, for how long uh, Team of the Season actually is gonna go on for. So we'll see if that happens. Um, we'll see, we'll see what, you know, it's really just a wait and see tomorrow. Like I said, if you guys do see any panic on the market tomorrow, specifically icons, I think it's okay if you don't want to go in before 6 p.m. I would understand that. Depending on the level of panic, like if a card is down 80,000 coins, I would advise you to pick that up. But if a card's down like 25k and it's like an icon, you want to wait till 6 p.m. to see what they really are going to release. What you will see during the 6 to 7 p.m. hour is a little bit of panic depending on the content they drop. So... You know, you could probably buy into then, and then people still got to play weekend league, guys. And we'll talk about, you know, Sunday soft this week as well, if most consistent does come out. Um, we'll talk about all that kind of stuff. In terms of, like, silver players, I know a couple people in my stream are always talking about silvers. Um, they should rise. You know, silvers honestly should just keep going up and up and up. 
um, as league like as people are doing more league SBCs. If you guys don't know, league SBCs are usually cheapest to do when there's no promo, and when there's a big promo like Fall Birthday or Team of the Year or Team of the Season, they go up in price because the level to demand and there's less silver supply on the market because none of the lightning rounds are you know silver supply. It's all 50k's, it's all 100k's and 125s every single day. So what I, what I will tell you guys this is like. There's a lot to talk about during team of the season, and there's going to be a lot of videos that come with it as well. Hope you guys did enjoy this type of video. Make sure you do drop a like, comment, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll talk to you guys in a video soon. Peace out.